to basketball and a huge game for Canada today at the Men's World Cup. Last chance for Spain. Abrinas. And Canada wins. Canada wins by a score of 88 to 85. And with that victory, the team advances to the quarterfinals. They're going to play Slovenia on Wednesday. And maybe more importantly, the victory also means Canada qualifies for next summer's Paris Olympics. And CBC's Kwabina Uduro has been getting reaction from fans in Montreal. Kwabina, this is such a historic moment for Canada. How's everybody feeling? Natasha, everyone is so excited. Everyone is so happy to celebrate the event. I actually decided to come to this basketball event. It's a three-on-three -three tournament, and the Canadian women's three-on-three -three team is actually playing right now, and they're hoping to join the men in the Olympics. Now, I spoke to so many people, and the one thing that a lot of people told me when they were watching that game, it was very stressful. To watch up until the end, people were saying that they couldn't even bear to watch because they weren't sure if Canada was going to win, if Spain was going to come back, but it was an impressive effort by Canada, and everyone is happy. Now, I spoke to some people who play basketball, who are part of Canada basketball, and they say that this historic moment means that basketball is going to be a big sport in the country. Well, it's amazing. It's amazing to see those guys going through so adversity and everything and bringing back so proudness to, to like home and everything. They're playing like crazy. I mean, the, the way they just qualified, it's amazing. So uh, go Canada. So we're super pumped for them. We know this is huge for Canada basketball, for the country who, um, there's just a lot of supporters of basketball in Canada and um, for the men to go out and do the job. I know they're happy. I know the fans are happy and we're happy to be there, hopefully to support them at the, at the Olympics. What a feeling for us to have this opportunity to now officially qualify for the Olympics. Uh, I mean, the last time we were there was 2000, so it's been a long 23 years for the men's program to finally get this opportunity to now be representing our country to go to the Olympics. And so, as you can hear, Natasha, people are just very excited, they're very happy, and it's an historic moment. It's the first time in 23 years that Canada will be going to the Olympics in men's basketball. Corbina, last weekend you and I were talking basketball, again this weekend, we won this big game, we're going to the Olympics. What does all this mean for basketball in this country? So now I spoke to some former players like Dwight Walton, who was on the senior uh, men's basketball team uh, a while ago, and he says that this is huge for Basketball Canada. He's been promoting it. He loves the fact that there's Canadian basketball leagues that are professionals starting up here. So he says that this will be a pioneer for the evolution of the game in Canada. And also with the three-on-three -three women's team hopefully vying for a spot in the, uh, the Olympics as well. The Canada basketball is hoping to have four teams between two uh, men's and women's team in three-on-three, -three, and then the senior national men's and women's team all together. But the task is not over, Natasha. Canada has unfinished business at the FIBA World Cup. They will be taking on Lithuania in the quarterfinals on Wednesday, and that's a tough team. So they have a test, test they had, and if they want to win the World Cup, that is their next test. T Natasha? CBC's Kwabina Uduro in Montreal. Thank you.